So if you clicked on this video, it's my guess that you're tired of making multiple folders every single time that you have a project that you need to do. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just click on a thing, tell it where to go, name the files, and it would all be said and done? Hooray! Well, I figured it out, well for Mac at least, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hey internet, welcome back. It's Robert Teagarden here again with another video. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. And like I said in the intro, today we are talking about how to create the best video folder structure using Automator in Mac. I was really sick and tired of creating multiple folders all the time. If you guys caught my video last week, you saw exactly how I put together my folder directory so that I can stay organized with large projects because as we know, organization is key to making sure that you get paid well. So we are here today telling you exactly how I put that folder structure together using Automator in Mac. I did a previous video a couple years ago on how to make a .exe file for PC. So if that's your jam, check out that video up here. Without further ado, let's jump on into the computer. I'll show you guys exactly what's going on naming this video and uh, we'll walk ourselves through it, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna actually walk you through exactly what I do every time I set up a folder directory inside of Mac. I literally click this video folder directory automator program. It's gonna ask me, and I did this in a previous video too where I was talking about managing large scale projects. It's gonna ask me where I want to put this. Uh, and what the folder is called. I'll show you exactly what that coding looks like in a second, but I'm gonna name it for today. And I'm gonna say how to create folder automation in Mac. Okay, and we're gonna click okay. That's what it's gonna be called. The next thing it's gonna prompt me is where do I want to save this? I'm just gonna go put it on a shuttle drive that I have connected to my Mac right now. So I choose that. And if we dive into that shuttle, what we'll see amongst a bunch of other stuff is that created today was that folder directory with six folders inside and a bunch of different options on the inside of these things so that I can manage my video and my audio files with ease, give my motion graphics, project files, renders, stills, all of those things, a nice little home to live in. Like, you know, it's got a nice roof and maybe some heating and air and a nice plasma TV. I don't know, maybe you like OLED something like that i don't know it's got a whole bunch of shit that you would like to have inside your house so how do i do this ladies and germs let's take a look at that right now now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into finder open up that window look at applications and click on automator and the next thing it's going to ask me is to choose which type of new document that i want to create and what we're going to do is we're going to choose an application because we're going to run that in real time here right so we're going to hit choose now what I did is I actually just opened up the video folder directory icon that I've got on my machine to keep this video nice and concise and to just walk you through the steps that I have that prompt me where to save it and that run that folder directory uh, so that it's kind of just easy for you to mimic and make it your own, right? So the first thing we're going to do is it says ask for text, right? So we're gonna go down here to this ask for text and you can drag that in here up at the top. Now that ask for text is what is this project called? That's the prompt that I put in there is this little question, what is this project called? Uh, and then it's requiring an answer on this side here. So that new project is where I type in the date. My uh, sequencing on that is year, month, day, and then whatever the project is called. That way when I sort it, I'm sorting it by year, then by the month, by the date. So it's going in uh, order by the year, month, and day that it was filmed, not necessarily just the actual project that it's called. Trust me, the longer that I do this, the more valuable that is because you have multiple years of searching through things. That appendage works really, really well. So then this next thing I want to put in there is set value of variable. And these two things are linked together because the new project that's at that ask for text is linked to this set value of variable. So as I say, what is that project called? I have to put in some value in this set value variable. So I drag that in here too. And then it's gonna say ask for finder items. And this is where do I wanna create that project or where do I want to save it? So those are the two automations that I'm going to be asked every single time I click on this particular thing uh, and run that program. Uh, the next thing is that it says set value of variable and it's gonna say start at new project. We wanna put both these things here. So set value of variable and we wanna select start at, not at new project. Okay, and the next thing we need is a value of variable. Okay, again, just running through this real quick so you have an understanding of what each things are. So I drag and get value of variable. 
Okay, and that again is a new project. And then here's where all of the magic ends up happening. This run shell script is how all of these things are created, all these folders, right? So this little right here, run shell script, you wanna drag that in there, okay? And the shell is slash bin slash bash, okay? Slash bin slash bash. And your pass input is as arguments, okay? Now, this is a small amount of code, but don't get intimidated by this. You can literally just use the exact same thing that I have and start to run your own scripts with it. You're going to make a directory, which is a folder. And so you're saying MKDIR for make directory. And then this is where you start to name each individual folder. So you go down to a new line. I just literally copy and paste this make directory appendage right here, okay? So I copy it, then I paste it down, make directory, and it's gonna start me here. So inside this quotation, I'm gonna put another slash, then zero dash, zero one dash audio, and then end parentheses, okay? Now, inside of that directory, it's going to now know that I created a folder of 01 audio. That's the title of that folder. But what if I wanna put something inside of that folder, okay? Very easy. I basically copy and paste this whole entire line right here. I go down, I paste it again, make directory, dollar sign one, dollar sign two, slash zero one dash audio, slash music. Now that's going to put, if I go in here, now that's going to put this music folder, sound effects and VO inside of the directory of audio that I just put in there and it's gonna do it every single time, okay? And it's very valuable because if I keep running through that script, I've done music, VO, sound effects, I move on to the next one, which is gonna be footage, right? Make directory, goes quotes, dollar sign one, dollar sign two, slash O2 footage, that's the new directory. And I go down and create a subfolder inside footage for every camera that I want to put a subfolder in there for and screen captures. I go again. Now I've got project files here, a new directory for motion graphics, a new directory for renders, and inside that renders folder, again, anytime you need to make subsequent folders inside each individual directory, you're just putting a slash, new name, new name, new name, and every time it reads that there's a new appendage, that's a new folder inside of that subfolder renders. And then we have stills. So with that in mind, you can just save that folder and you can save it onto your desktop. I put one on each individual hard drive that I have so that I know that that thing is going to come with me wherever I travel and whatever hard drive I have. Double click, that's two clicks. You can put in the directory name, you can save it wherever you wanna be. And you've got all of those folders consistently made every single time that you run that program. Now, if you're kind of feeling a little bit lazy and you just wanna tweak a couple things, you can actually look at the link down in the description, download the file from your old boy Tea Garden over here and just change the things and automator to whatever you need them to be and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy for you so with that in mind if you like the video like the damn video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for more tea garden goodness if you haven't checked out any of these videos down here that i think are going to be super helpful for you like how to do this on a pc with the .exe i mean look this is uh, the place to go so just go ahead and give it a little clickeroo i'll see you next week for next week's video whatever the hell that's going to be